So welcome, uh, Georgia of, uh, of Reware, um, over here at our office of uh, Quality Vision in, in Utrecht. Um, for the people who don't know what Reware is, uh, what is it? Well, first of all, thank you for inviting us. Um, Reware makes high-end fashion available for all women uh, by connecting all wardrobes around the world with each other. Um, basically, it means that uh, a woman can now afford a Chanel dress worth over 8,000 euros without even owning it. Um, so that's in short our, our concept. Mm. And, and uh, uh, who is we? Well, we are with five founders, um, um, uh, two uh, guys who are uh, uh, responsible for our uh, technical design and the website and uh, well, the technical director and creative director. Then we have uh, Pauline, who is also uh, available for our look and our feel, and uh, well, how rewear really looks and what we want to show the people. And then we have Marluz and me, who are um, running all the things uh, behind the company, um, from shipping to logistic things, uh, finance, all those kind of sort of things. And how did you guys uh, found each other? Well, uh, one of us uh, get us all together, and from there we started. Uh, we were st uh, we started first with a smaller group, and from there we were uh, developing and searching for the right people. So we are now with uh, five people. Well, actually six. We have also an intern <laughs> right now. So um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a good group to uh, to start this concept. And 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 uh, uh, where does the idea come from? Well, the idea uh, came from uh, Merluz, one of the founders. Uh, she talked uh, with uh, the founder of Rent to Runway in America. Uh, they are basically renting designer items to uh, customers. And from there, she came back to Holland. And sh because she's working also in advising and sharing economy, she thought, OK, we need to do something uh, with this concept and bring this to the share economy. And from there out, we started. Um, of course, uh, the idea have been changed uh, through the years. And uh, we think we have now a, ver a very good concept. And you say uh, it changed to, uh, through the years. So you're quite, uh, you, uh, so you've been here for quite a long time with the well concept. Uh, so, so what's the, the time frame uh, from the idea to where you're saying right now? I think we started about two years ago. Um, but of course, with every startup, you have hiccups. So and not everything goes smooth, uh, so you have to overcome a couple of things that uh, to really start as with a good concept, uh, because you can only make one impression. Uh, so uh, that's why we took also a long time for it to really start the the platform. Um, and while we started, we also tested with a small group of users who were involved in the first uh, uh, phase of our company. And through that, through testing and through experience from the users, we slightly changed our concept to what the platform is nowadays. And, and what were the most important changes? Well, uh, we also th saw that uh, a lot of people uh, also are more engaged if they can earn uh, a little bit money by the side. Um, so that's why we changed our concept by, uh, by not only sharing, but also make it available that you can rent your own items to others. And with that money, you can invest in uh, other beautiful, sustainable uh, fashion items, which you can share again on our platform. Mm. So, um, so I think that's a, a nice change we made. Um, and we also saw uh, things like that everyone wanted to have bags. And we thought, OK, we thought dresses. but so. From through testing, you see uh, what uh, the users really want. So um, we learn a lot of, uh, of about that. Um, also, a couple of things what we really thought is necessary is to give them the convenience uh, to using our platform by having a very good insurance, uh, dry cleaning service, uh, shipping costs, uh, which is uh, uh, all provided by our uh, platform. And the insurance part, because there are quite some insurance busy in the sharing economy, but yes. it's, it's really going really, really slow. So, so at, uh, at what way did the process went from you uh, to get your insurance on board? 
Well, um, because there was a because you're not a million dollar company yet. No, it was a str it's a strange uh, a story, but I will tell it. Uh, I was on a on a terrace drinking uh, some wine, and uh, from there we I uh, got involved with somebody and talking. What what are you doing? And he was like, I'm in the insurance business. And I said, Okay, then I need you, <laughs> because we are starting an, a business in the share economy, and we really want to have a, a good insurance which uh, can help us and provide us uh, the right insurance for this concept. Because if you want to engage someone to put a Chanel bag on our platform, it's a huge step to take. Uh, a Chanel bag will cost around three, 4,000 euros uh, as a retail price. It starts from there. So you have to have the insurance and the convenience and uh, feel safety that you can put that on our platform renting it out and for the whole rental process it will be insured against well theft uh, maybe a wine stain or uh, and uh, the guy with who i was talking about it he was really enthusiastic about the concept and uh, he said well let's have a cup of coffee and see how we can uh, develop this uh, for your company. So um, we started it and uh, with all our demands from yeah, what do we need to have to be insured and what can we and what can they provide. So it's really a tailor-made insurance and very unique because it's worldwide so nobody has it uh, until now. So we are very mm. proud of that. But, it, but it, uh, it isn't really a, a good strategy to copy because it was just uh, on the coincidence of meeting the right guy at the right place. Yes, plans. yes, because we already heard stories from like Peer B and others who were trying to um, um, get uh, insurance company on board with the share economy uh, businesses. And it, it was very hard for them. So uh, we thought that what would be a very hard thing for us to arrange. Uh, but I ran into the right person on the right moment, so that's lucky. And are there more persons that you, uh, where you ran into at the right moments, like with the, uh, the, 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 the transportation, but also uh, finding other partners? Yeah, well, because we are, most of our found, uh, the founders are entrepreneurs, so we have already a very good uh, business network. And through our network, we already uh, got a lot of good contacts which could help us further with uh, like shipping or uh, the dry cleaning. Uh, and it's also like just calling people up and just say, hey, I'm Georgia from Rewear. This is our plan. Would you like to join us and drink a cup of coffee with us and uh, see what we can do together? Uh, so it's also really like um, selling your product like that. <laughs> um, but it's also just having the good context. It's, it's a pre, so we are lucky with that. And talk about focus because you also have uh, because all the five uh, founders they also got uh, uh, other uh, uh, enterprises. Yeah. So at what way do you manage to keep the right focus on on, on all, all of your businesses? Yeah. Well, first of all, we have <coughs> all our uh, um, how do you call that Ach um, achievements to to take up for the company. So I will never uh, think about our look or feel because there are two other people in our company who are really have a good sense for that and they are experienced uh, in, in, in that. So I know I don't have to think about that. I know uh, what they are presenting is just good because they are experienced. So you have to trust each other as members that everyone has their expertise in the team. That's one. Second is that uh, if you really believe in uh, this company, you will make you will have to make sacrifices and we all did so we all make sacrifices to um, be a part of this company um, but because of nowadays working i can work here with my ipad and so it's not necessary to be in an office or so if i'm traveling like i've traveled for another company to frankfurt last week but i was still working also for rewear so um, we all work like that so that's how we maintain it. <laughs> and it's I don't know until <laughs> how, how long. Of course, you have to make choices. So uh, that's why I've made also ch some choices 
to just focus me like uh, a lot of time now on rewear uh, because it's an um, important time now. Yeah, and and and, and it's also uh, maybe also a good thing that there are m more women than men in, in in a team because women there are better in multitasking. Or do you think that's uh, oh no 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 <laughs> no that's a crazy They're story. <laughs> no no no. If I see how the boys are operating in our business, they are like you know just ongoing. And like also, we have it also like, we get a text message in our WhatsApp group from one o'clock, I fixed the bug, you know, like, and so <laughs> we are really um, dedicated to this company and uh, we are all very good in multitasking. Uh, but also what a very good thing is, is that we take time for our social life with each other. So we really know what's happening in somebody else's private life so we can really support each other. Uh, when it's getting busy and um, a lot of pressure. So I think we have a really good team. I'm very proud of it. So, uh, okay, so, yeah. so, con so, so congratulations. I like with working uh, with, with them. So <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> the most yeah. important part of, part of running your business. Yeah, and highly skilled also and experienced. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. and, 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 and about uh, how did you f uh, invest it in the company? Uh, uh, is there also an external investor? Uh, no, we don't have an uh, external investor. It's self-funded. Uh, we're still looking for an investor or an advisor who are, is willing to work with us, not only to invest money, but also to invest in knowledge and just to bring us a, a, to a higher level, basically to upscale the concept. Uh, that's what we are seeking right now. So because we have working already uh, two years and we do this also by um, just in our own time, uh, there will be a, a moment that we are, it's crucial that we have the right investors uh, with our company. So. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. And, and with five founders, um, was it also hard to talk about uh, uh, how to divide the shares or do you got another system for that? No, it's not, uh, because it's very easy. We have an American model slicing pie. Uh, you can Google it and know how it works. Uh, every working hour is getting like uh, into the pie and that's your share. So it's very honest. So if I don't work for Rewear, I don't build up my uh, uh, e equity. So um, that's how it works. So it's very uh, honest, open, transparent. Uh, so and it and also gives you the opportunity to, to really uh, grow the first stage of the company without putting money in because everybody is getting equity uh, exactly. for the yeah, work they do. Exactly. But I also see it if you want to start a business, you know you have to invest, uh, even um, not only with money but also in hours. So you have to be 24 7 available for that company. And I think that's the mentality. If you don't have that, uh, you will not going to make it long. So you really need to have that commitment from everyone and we have that. So um, I don't even think about the hours which I'm spending right now. It's also for our company that I was like, okay, how many hours is it? No. You just do it and, um, um, and it's a very transparent model. So I'm very glad that we have that. Yeah. yeah. And then going back to uh, uh, the, the platform, uh, mm -hmm. so you got demand and supply, uh, yeah. but for supply you're working together with uh, individuals, uh, consumers, but also yeah. with designers and, yeah. and, and fashion brands. Mm -hmm. So how does, that, how, how does that work? Okay, we are now trying to engage users to also not uh, only rent something from our platform, but also to bring something in. Uh, we engage also designers with us uh, in the first stage already. Uh, who are putting their first new collection on our platform, which you can rent. Uh, and that's, I think it's a challenge to really get uh, a lot of content uh, on a certain moment on our platform. So we are not only trying to uh, engage users to get on our platform, making a profile, uploading their photos and their story, but also to upload the first fashion items. Um, not everyone has a designer item, so we thought also about that. Uh, so if you don't have a designer item, you can get help from us. We provide also services that people are looking for your first, let's say, a Chanel bag, vintage. Um, it's not necessary that it's new. Uh, vintage, secondhand, is great. That's the, uh, the share economy, sustainable, etc. So we have people who can find your first Chanel bag for you 
Um, so you can start using rewear. Um, not only wearing the first Chanel bag uh, on, a, on a party, but you can also share it with others and earn a little bit of money at the side. Um, and how we are, uh, we are just asking, we charge a fee of every transaction. So that's a very basic business model, very transparent, so everyone knows how the platform works. And uh, uh, where's your biggest challenge, in the demand or in the supply side? Um, I see them in both. I see in everything a challenge. Um, I don't th uh, think it will gonna go get easy, but if we already see the engagement of members uh, who were standing in line to wait until our platform uh, got launched, um, there are a lot of people, so I think we need some time for uh, set up a very good marketing uh, campaign to explain what the platform is um, and to ensure them it's a safe platform. Everyone is getting checked by, uh, by us. So we also have a, a professional identity checker in our uh, platform. So we know the person is real behind uh, the items. And um, I think it's a challenge to get them both on board. Uh, we already got members who made a, a profile, uh, signed up, and I see they're still a little bit scary of putting their first item on the website. Uh, but we make it easy because you can make beautiful pictures at home. And then when you upload them, within 24 hours, we made them more beautiful with a white background. And so you will get also uh, the feeling of a professional platform. It's nice, it's fashionable. So uh, through that, we hope to engage also the people. And you're now live uh, in the beta phase for a week. Yeah. yeah. So that's quite exciting, I guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and but you also got quite some media attention uh, way before. Yeah. Um, so, at what way are you going to, to, to do that again? Uh, because uh, that's, I think, the hardest thing with getting media attention uh, uh, at not really, uh, maybe too early. Yeah. Uh, to, to, uh, to ask them, okay, thank you for your attention, but we uh, please come back uh, in, in a year or yeah. six months. Yeah. Well, uh, just call them up again. <laughs> and um, try also with, we have also a, um, a, a person who is working for us also for PR. Uh, she has really good contacts, so uh, through her we are also going to um, announce everyone again, all the magazines, television, everyone, that we started with our concept. And I think uh, also by our own community, we hope that our own community spread the word and that they are happy when they are uh, borrowing something from our platform that they, they will use Instagram or Facebook and tell how, um, how uh, happy they are with their you know, Chanel bag that they've rented, borrow it for a couple of days. So also through that, uh, we try with social media to, uh, to get the attention. Yeah, yeah, cool. So I think it's really important really to focus on the community to make them the great ambassadors. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and also really like the idea uh, of, of, of giving the young designers a stage because then, uh, because then they then they also will uh, sh uh, share their stories, of yeah. course. So they are also really important in PR, but it's also really a new way of giving talented designers a stage yeah. uh, to uh, to r uh, uh, reach a, a really broad audience. Mm -hmm. And maybe that also will be a way that that's, that that a, a audience will join the platform to be the first who can yeah uh, rent uh, designers uh, or, or young professional designers uh, items. Yeah. Yeah, well, we try to have different kind of sort of designers, uh, especially also high-end designers, sustainable, uh, upcoming, um, and uh, we hope that that will bring a kind of sort of curiosity uh, to check out our, uh, our website, because to be really honest, we have now a designer, Pete Dullard, who is really hot and um, on this moment, and he really makes very beautiful things. And uh, if you have a party and you can walk in his dress just for 100 euros for that evening, that's cheap. Uh, and that's also fun to wear. And you have something beautiful also um, uh, to wear on a party. And then we hope that people can share that also on Instagram and on Facebook. So 
Um, it's a challenge, but we uh, we can manage it. <laughs> I don't uh, <laughs> I don't have a, a fear for it. We will make it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and, and and then the one question I think everybody will ask you uh, as as the first question is okay. I'm going to rent out my my designer mm -hmm. dress. I don't wear dresses, but my girlfriend she has. And but uh, and and then uh, something goes wrong. Um, and what way do you really uh, can guarantee uh, with insurance, but also with the cleaning that it will uh, receive my my, uh, my clothes back in this in the in the, in the in original the state? state. Yeah. yeah, the same condition. Well, uh, as uh, first of all, you can choose if you upload a designer item or a fashion item uh, from shoes to a bag or a dress. You can choose if you also want to use our dry cleaning service. Um, so you just uh, write it. Uh, like okay, I want also a dry cleaning service, or you say that uh, you clean it yourself, um, or the person who's going to rent it may wash it uh, in their washing machine. It depends also about the item. That's one thing. The second thing is still, if I'm borrowing a dress and I have a party and there comes a red wine stain on it, um, well, it has to go to a dry cleaner. I can also use the service of uh, the dry cleaning service from Reware, uh, or I bring it to another dry cleaner. But of course, we uh, uh, expect that you're you're going to clean the item. Uh, you can have the contact also with the person from who the dress is, so you can also talk about it. What would you like? Um, but if it's uh, something uh, which cannot be solved by dry cleaning, uh, we can look through to it with the insurance. Okay, what is the damage? How can we repair it? Can we change the item uh, or not? Uh, so uh, through there, we kind of check how the insurance can uh, solve this problem. Basically, everything is in the insurance, and you have only an uh, own risk. From 100 euros, I think. Okay. Well, that's nothing. If that's you have okay. a Chanel bag of 4,000 <laughs> euros, <laughs> you can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100 euros is nothing. Yeah. So so and, 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 and like I said before, uh, uh, you are now uh, live for a week. So, 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 what are your plans for the next coming months? So, what can we expect? Work hard, <laughs> play hard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, what are you going to? Uh, uh, what are your biggest challenges? Uh, for the for the coming months uh, to to engage the members to really get our, our platform to a certain level uh, that we have in mind uh, and I think that in the coming two three months we really have to work on that um, to see what marketing really sets off um, and um, that's I think our main goal right now yeah and of course, at the side, we have to develop through. So to engage more designers to work with us, more brands, um, get into uh, attention by uh, magazines or maybe television. Or so I think that's also very important and to look for uh, good advisors and investors. Okay, cool. So we, we have a very good a board of advisors already who are thinking with us and working with us. Um, we have a famous blogger uh, engaged uh, after dark. We have Maybrit from Amazon. We have uh, from Fashionista uh, one of the founders. So we really have a good network and a board of advisors who are willing to work with us to get us to a higher level and advise us in that. Okay, so I think uh, because uh, uh, working two years is quite long for a startup, but I think the level that you're really going to set uh, that also really needed uh, this uh, this, this mm -hmm, period uh, mm -hmm. to uh, to grow. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks for the interview. Well, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.